Hi, this is Tim Rigdon. I'm Director of Decorative Arts and Design at Heritage Auction Galleries, and I want to welcome you to the preview of our inaugural Beverly Hills Decorative Arts and Design Auction to take place on Sunday, March the 20th. We have a number of really extraordinary pieces in this sale. The first one I want to talk about is our cover lot, which is a four-piece bedroom set designed by Michelangelo Guggenheim in Venice, an extraordinary set that, more importantly, was retailed by the firm of Lewis Comfort Tiffany and Tiffany Glass and Decorating Company around 1890. And by oral tradition, this set ended up in the collection of the notorious Chicago gangster Al Capone. The set is decorated with sphinxes, wing sphinxes, and palmat leaves in a riot of um, neo-Egyptian design done in gilt wood and inset with um, fabric insets. An extraordinary set that includes a double bed, two bedside cabinets, and a drop front commode. We also are including all the documentation from Tiffany and & Company and Tiffany Glass & Decorating Company that accompanied this set. Another important lot, which is of particular interest to California collectors, is a massive four-panel chromolithographed poster depicting the Sutro Baths, a complex which was built around 1896 on the bluffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean outside of San Francisco. Included in the sale is a group of pieces by famous California 20th century designers ranging from Dorothy Draper to Francis Adler Elkins and Frank Gehry and also Tony Duquette. His iconic snail lamp or also known as Ghost Snail, is one of 12 original castings in fiberglass fitted with a fluorescent ring on the inside, which when lit up, the shell glows. An incredible piece which has tremendous Dr. Doolittle overtones to it. In a more classical vein, we also have a collection of French Sèvres-style porcelains, including a pair of covered urns with paintings signed by F. Amblette, a Paris designer from about 1890 to 1900. These tall, 23-inch high, cobalt ground vases have removable lids, incredible tooled gilding, great cast bronze mounts, and fabulously painted scenes of courtiers within landscape settings, which reverse to more monotone scenes of landscapes with fantastic fountain decoration. Continuing in the more classical decorative arts vein is a three-piece clock garniture in gilt and patinated bronze after designs by Jean-Joseph de Saint-Germain, the French designer working in the Rococo vein in the middle of the 18th century, but this three-piece set dating to about 1900. The centerpiece of the, of the garniture is a clock raised on the back of a standing bull, the bull flanked by two classically garbed maidens, and on the top of the clock housing is another classical maiden, plus two nine-light candelabra supported by similar figures in patinated bronze. A stunning piece, beautifully cast, beautifully chased, and beautifully designed. For those collectors of Russian works of art, we have a number of extraordinary pieces in porcelain, in gilt bronze, as well as sculpture and furniture. One of the highlights is a figure by the Lomonosov Porcelain Factory dating to the post-revolutionary period, this one entitled The Girl with the Broken Jug, of a classical maiden in a seraphim or robe wearing a green crown, looking down at her feet with a broken jug, which is emblematic of the hopes and dreams of Russia that were shattered with the revolution. This piece is an extraordinary example of the works Lomonosov factory dating from about 1920 to 1925. We hope you enjoy browsing through the many selections in this sale and I wish you good luck bidding.